Giorgio Meloni speaking. Hi, dear Prime Minister. Nice to hear you. Nice to meet you. So, thank you for your time. And ah, how are you? I'm good. I'm good now. I heard many uh, bad news. So what yeah. is the uh, what is the situation? Yes, yes, the situation is a bit difficult. Mm. Anyway, the situation um, is is very difficult for us to to um, to manage in this time. Uh, we've had from the beginning of the year, um, so in in seven seven months, nine months. Yeah. Uh, more than uh, 120,000 people uh -huh. who came mostly from Tunisia. So a situation which is very difficult on every side. Yeah. On the on the humanitarian side, the, the logistic side, the security side. Yeah, yeah. So I'm having... Uh, uh, and, and what I see is that um, these flows risk to be increased for the situation that's going on in Africa, yeah. moreover in the Sahel, but also with the, uh, the, 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 the problem of the grain and on yeah, all the problems that you know quite better than me. We are working also with the European Union for a memorandum with Tunisia. Europe has thought for a, for a lot of time that it could solve the problem closing it in Italy, what they don't understand is that it is impossible. The size of this, of this um, uh, phenomenon is something that involves, in my opinion, even not only uh, the European Union, but the UN. But the problem is the others, they don't care. They didn't always also respond to the telephone when, when they pass by, and they do all agree that uh, only Italy has to solve the pro this problem alone. Yeah, it's a very to, stupid I way to talk, of saying I things. I tried to talk to Macron, but he also uh, refused to understand my uh, my position. That is what one of my strategy plans, as you know, on, on which I'm trying to uh, to discuss with the also with the with the other European countries about this plan on investments for energy in Africa. Uh, I, I think that could be well. It's not immediate, absolutely. When you begin doing investments, first days of November, we will present yeah. here in Rome in, in this conference our pl Mate plan for Africa, which is this kind of involvement in investments, moreover in energy for Africa. African countries to produce the energy they need and also to export if they can. How do you estimate the conflict in uh, Europe between Ukraine and Russia? How, how long it will take to understand that is, what is the position? You had um, conversations with Bi President Biden and others. So. Well, I see, I see that uh, there is a lot of fatigue, if I have to say the truth, from all the sides. We near the moment in which everybody understands that mm, we, need a, we need a way out. Yeah. The problem is to find a way out which uh, can be acceptable for both without destroying the international law. I've got some ide ideas about it, on how to manage this situation, but I'm waiting to, under to, un to, to the right moment to try to put on the table these ideas I've got. The counteroffensive of Ukraine is maybe not going as they were expecting. Yeah. Uh, it, it is going, but it, it didn't change. I mean, the, the, uh, the destiny of the conflict. Yeah. So uh, everybody understand that it really could last many years if we don't try to find some solutions. Oh, the problem is which is the solution acceptable for both yeah. without opening other conflicts. Uh, you know you know what I think about uh, Libya. Uh, no, maybe you don't know, but <laughs> Uh, we, we should this we could discuss it for hours, my my friend. Uh, what what it happened uh, to to Libya? For yep. maybe today somebody understands that the situation after was not so good. Hmm? Yeah, it's true. It was not better. Well, and it's another to, crisis. It is energy well, crisis. Make our brain work. Yeah.